Hey there, Captain Whitebeard here, and welcome back to Tech Talk. So, today we are going to be looking at Joyplay. Because I have seen several people online talking about the fact that they would like to see certain uh, RPG Maker games or RinP games ported over to their smartphone. But not every developer has the time to do this. And, I mean, it's significantly harder in some cases than um, porting over uh, to a different, like, PC operating system because it's a different, um, it's a different uh, processor architecture. So, in theory, it's a little bit harder. If you're using a newer version of the, the um, engines, then you'll be able to do it fairly easily. Um, compared to how hard it used to be. But it can still be a little challenging if you don't know what you're doing. So, another alternative is Joyplay. So, first off, I, in order to walk you through this, today I'm going to be using Screen Copy. Now, Screen Copy you can grab on GitHub, right here. Uh, it's by Ginny Mobile. <laughs> Now what Screen Copy does is it uses the Android Debugging Bridge, or ADB, in order to connect to a smartphone that you have plugged in with USB. Technically it also supports doing this over Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, but your results, uh, your mileage may vary. Um, I've had pretty significant lag with that, so I prefer to use just USB. Uh, you have a hard line connection, so it tends to be faster. Anyway, so that is how we're going to be walking through this. So I have made a script here to just load this up into the terminal at the click of a button instead of me having to type it in. <clears throat> and it'll take a moment to connect to my phone. And here we go. All right, now you can see everything on my phone. Also, I can control my phone with my mouse, which can be a little bit convenient especially when doing this sort of thing. So the first thing that we are going to be doing is taking a look at the official website for Joyplay. That's joyplay.cyou. Here you can find the GitHub page where the source code for the program is available, along with uh, several of the um, interpreter uh, components that they have for interpreting different types of games. Oh, apparently it works with Tyranno Builder games. I didn't know that. Neat. They must have added that since the last time I've been to the website. Uh, well, anyway, so as you can see, here is the link to download the game on Google Play. I, however, don't use Google Play, so I will be walking you through uh, picking up the game on uh, on my store of choice, which is APK Pure. It is ad supported, but that's fine. The reason why it's ad supported is because app developers get a higher percentage of the uh, revenue from app sales if they're hosting on APK Pure versus the Google App Store. Um, that's one of many reasons I prefer APK Pure, but I'll be going over a lot of reasons to choose an alternative app store as long as well as uh, what several of your options are in a future video. For now what we're going to be doing is going ahead and looking for Joyplay. As you can see this is the one I have installed. So this is an interpreter for RPG Maker games, RenP, Terreno Build, and all that good shit. What you'll want to do is pull this up, go ahead and hit install, and then install it as you would any other uh, any other app. It's very, very straightforward with the Google App Store. Um, it's fairly straightforward with this as well once you've gotten it set up, and I'll walk you through that in the next video. But next, we're going to go ahead and open up Joyplay. Now, as you can see, I already have some, game install some games installed, but we're not going to worry too much about those right now. Instead, we're going to be adding a new one. So you'll hit the plus sign to do that. And right now, I think I'd like to play uh, Lisa. So now we go to the football here, Lisa. 
the executable. Choose that. And you know, I'd like to see the, um, the icon for it too. So we're going to go ahead and go to right here, choose our icon and hit add. You can also also list the um, the version if that matters to you. So now that we have this installed, we can just click Lisa. And as you can see, it's pulling up an on-screen keyboard. That can be uh, disabled as well. Uh, sometimes that it won't be necessary, uh, especially if you're running a newer version of RPG Maker. Uh, for older versions like this though, you will want the on-screen keyboard. Uh, so, yeah. And we can use the on-screen keyboard to play this exactly like it would play on a computer. So anyway, now you know how, uh, how that works. And we won't need that anymore. So if you are interested in going ahead and playing a game for any of those supported uh, systems, or any of the supported engines, which would be pretty much any RPG maker, um, anything made on RenP, Tyranno Builder, or web-based games, then go ahead and pick up a copy of Joyplay. It's free and open source. And uh, then you can play these on your Android. Anyway, I hope this has been helpful. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to share it with a friend, because I would like these videos to reach as many people as possible. Um, and be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't get so you don't miss the next Tech Talk video that drops, or my uh, Let's Play content if that's something you're into. Anyway, have a great night. Peace out.